All right, round three. Ward Staff should reduce the damage of that. I think it does magic damage. All right, actual plan. Give him the item that reduces the bonus damage from arrows. That would be a smart thing to do. Oh shit, I didn't save this. Um, you go down here. Um, yeah, you can do this without losing a single unit. In fact, that's going to be my plan. It's just difficult. There's something very specific that has to happen. Yeah, you can wait out the buff. I don't want to do that, though. Um, oh, let's take... Where, who has it? Marsha has it. The full guard. I'm going to give the full guard to um, Janeth. It is not the orc only. This will allow me to tank the wind and tank the arrows that much easier. What's my onion on this list? Let's take a look. Ooh. This looks like a 4chan post. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the helpful FGC channels. Nice. I don't know anything about Geoff the Hero. Je Jeff the Hero? The Tier God seems cool. Maximilian Dude is, um... I don't know what to make of Maximilian. I've never liked him. I don't dislike him as a human being, but I don't like his channel. It seems like everyone, like... It seems like Maximilian's opinion is everyone's opinion. You know what I mean? It seems like once Maximilian says anything, like, like it just becomes the entire FGC's opinion. Metal Music Man's in the helpful FGC. Some of these I've never heard of. Most of them I agree with. Entertaining. What the fuck is this? Cross Counter TV gets to be helpful and entertaining, but I'm only in helpful? I'm not entertaining? That's gay ass shit. I'm like super entertaining. Fucking gay. Alright, let's do this. Alright, I have a plan this run. Time to say all the things I said last time. I'm 100% okay to pull Nacella. I'm not actually butthurt, I was just fucking around. I don't care about his opinion. I mean, it's not that I don't care about his opinion, but like it doesn't mean anything. It's like, a, like it's not gonna fucking affect my day to day life. Like him not. When I find out someone doesn't like me, I don't really give a shit. It's unfortunate. I try to avoid it. But like if it's one person, you know, it's not it's not like the end of the world. It's impossible to do stuff so that everyone likes you. I just try to keep it to a minimum. Nice and tough. There we go. Janaf should actually theoretically be able to tank these hits now. He got that nice crit last time. I'm not gonna get that again. Alright. We're gonna pour in. As far as possible. Iron Man's crypt. Wait. Swords and lances. There is Naysala. Where is he? There he is. Slightly stronger beak than all the units. No band that allows him to be permanently transformed. Really fucking stupid stats. The ability to use wind magic. There he is. Here's the guy that might be related to Stefan in some way. Um, it'd be cool if we could like recruit him with Stefan. He is the boss. The boss man. Nick is still hosting me from yesterday. Um, let's do 
this. So what was that on? Was that on V? Was that on VG? Or was that? Where that post come from? I know they sometimes talk about me in fighting game general. I can take kits. I don't know, just move in. Should actually be 100% okay. I don't like VG, to be honest. I don't like general threads. I don't like V either. I think people on V don't like V. So I don't really know what to make of it. Ha! <laughs> That's a lot better. Double. Nice. That's a kill I can pick up with Volt. Volt needs to get to max level in this battle. You mean wade through the, the shit on V to find corn? Get it? Alright, Nacella should notice me and should fly over to cast some wind magic on me. And that's going to be ugly, but I'll live. Holy hell will I live. Hi, I'm a French casual builder. Define builder. God, the full guard made that so much better. No one did any damage to me. They sell us still strong as fuck. 24 doubled. I pulled him over in the safest way possible by sitting in that spot. Now I need to approach him with Raisin, which is going to be very scary. Um, this battle is pretty hard because Nacella attacks your team and he's through the roof strong. I think the... There's a lot of different ways this battle can go. What the heck is a builder? I really need Volt to maximize his experience. Well, I really wish I could fucking... Uh, I'm gonna talk, talk to him from this side. King Kilvis, you egg-stealing snake! I'm a different flock, eh? You are his eyes, if I'm not mistaken. Janaf is the eyes, Olki is the ears. Everything worked out in the end, what's the problem? Racing is here? I can still attack him. He is no longer aggressive. He will not attack units anymore. So he is effectively removed from the fight. Well, this fight's suddenly easy. But um, he's the main problem, and now he's out of it. He will now automatically seek out Raisin and uh, try and talk to him. And once he talks to Raisin, both he and every single Raven unit will flee the field. Which makes the battle generously easier. What's your attack range? I can actually safely get Volk to move again. I'm playing a dangerous game right now. Kaiser team, oh, it's a builder, you need to answer. Uh, Volk should get a level up and, like, then some. Uh, out of range. I'll be alright. Knifed. Killer Axe. He was really equipping a Killer Axe. That's scary. <laughs> I didn't realize. Um, these guys aren't gonna kill me anyway. Uh, this guy needs to die, like, now. Like now. I think this is the run. 
There's not enough, not a lot that can go wrong anymore. The purpose and choose intelligment. It's unity and supporters not using the other unit throughout the game. Sorry, I use Google Trad. That did not make much sense. later. Um, I'm actually okay to stand here. Um, if I pull that guy, it'll be alright. The only person I'm worried about him attacking is Janaf, who's way over there. And even then, I've got the full guard now, so like, it doesn't matter. Full guard's such a good item! Holy fuck. Oh yeah, and I took so little damage from the wind because of that fucking ward staff. That was kind of smart of me, I feel like. I feel like I did a good job with that one. Um, I need to get pretty much every kill with Volk. I wanted to get to level 20 by the end of this battle. I think it's this battle. I don't remember when the battle is. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't need to worry about you, but I still need to worry about this guy. No, I don't. Stack range is garbage. Um, he has to come along now. It's okay. That's still fine. I mean, it's adding up, but that sniper needs to die. Hey, racing. Hey, Rayson, look at you. You look sharp, kid. I don't think Rayson can inherently talk to him. I think Nacella has to find Rayson, and I think you need to talk to him with a bird first. I don't remember. How dare you show your face to me. <laughs> Nacella's so cool. My ears are closed to you. Rayson's cool, too. Are you blaming me? Smooth those ruffled feathers. King Lorazi? I don't know who that is. Never again enter into combat with your fellow Lagoos. A night ring? I don't actually know what's going on. What the fuck is that? I don't remember that thing. Listen to me, Dark Wings. We have killed us are leaving. Oh fuck! <laughs> They're getting attacked by the the red units. I think they just have to touch the borders of the map and then they leave. I think it can be any border. Yeah. I get bonus experience for each one of them that lives. I didn't end up killing any of them. So that's nice. It looks like they all survived. Those two haven't survived yet. But they will. Um, it really helps to have a flying unit to get this guy. Which I don't have. Um, you die. That's the ballista out of the way. 
Now all I've got to worry about is all these fuckers. Um, knife? Like a dagger? Cool. Gotta get those level ups. One more level up. He doesn't have to get to 21, he only has to get to 20. In fact, he cannot get to 21. That's a pretty risky place to put race, and I need to make sure at the end of this turn that every fucking guy is dead. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of units back here. I can just fucking pepper fire away at the, um, the magic and whatnot. Let's use a spell that I'll actually hit him. Stand here, it's a little safer. Um, I have to be mindful of the units I have that can actually hit sword guys. Because sword guys tend to actually have kind of good... ...obeyed against all my weapons. I don't have like a good Lance Caesar, except Oscar. And most of my sword guys don't do very high damage. kills. Is the knife more accurate than the dagger? Yeah. It makes sense. Often like that. There we go. Wait, why did I do that again? Um, can I kill you? Aether? Aether, 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 Aether. No, Aether. Two... 92s is less likely than, once, than 177 out of two. Also, I save a weapon use. Magic, when it misses, still consumes a weapon use. Those, when they miss, do not. Which is kind of weird, because... Like, the bow still sees exactly the same amount of wear that it would have if you hit the opponent. It's not like you're saving, and it's not like that corresponds to arrows or anything like that, or else you'd still use the arrow. But you're using up some of the magic of the book when you use a book. It's weird. It's unfortunate I weakened this guy all that much, but I don't even get to, like, pick him off. Um, but whatever. Uh, getting my bow level ups is nice. You start off with like E rank bows, you gotta build it up. Alright. Um, I cleared this field. There's only like seven enemies left. Abandoned would be more accurate. I remember that guy moves, but he sure is a threat. Alright, these guys are out of here. Uh, retreat. He's about to run out of time. You, the player, can use these, but unfortunately... This is how it always goes with ballista levels. You can get on the ballistas and fire them, but they're always going in the wrong direction, so I was like, trained at your army, and you can't spin them around. I think it's kind of gay level design. I could get, um, I could use Janaf to get Rolf up there, and then I could use this thing to attack the boss, which would be pretty funny. Um, in fact, I really want to do that. Puh. I guess my next concern is getting up there and killing those guys. That is a potentially very risky move. My next concern is seeing if the boss moves. It's a sonic sword. I don't know if it attacks resistance or defense, so I should I should have someone who has high of both. Which is like Ike, I guess. <laughs> um, Alright, let's try and pull the boss and see what happens. We're gonna pile up. Uh, 
Alright, these are the safe squares. Alright. Yeah. The XP. It also gives me a little bit of bar, I think. I think I get like one or two towards my transformation bar. It's not the end of the world if Volk misses his final level up. I'm only using him out of novelty, really. He probably won't be a permanent member of my team. Just leveling him up out of formality. But he is quite an interesting unit, I won't lie. It would have been better if I could get the boss to not equip his... Um... <gasps> okay, that's fine. I don't know why I freaked out. Because I didn't know who he was attacking. I didn't get his movement range. So the boss doesn't move. Because he had the opportunity to move. Yeah, he looks like a non-mover. Well, let's have Ike pull everyone over. Oh shit! That guy doesn't take very much damage at all. I've got max speed, I'll be alright. Yeah, I'm getting that double. And then I can move again. This is the best possible play. Astrid's useful, because she's so fast. Um, well, secure kill. I need to get him to level 20. It's a promotion, I should say. Level 21. Before chapter 21. It's not that hard, but I'm still fretting about it. Where's Mist? Where the fuck is she? What the fuck? I forgot to move her last turn. Maybe. She'll still get to, um... Uh, Reist. Racing's a lot less useful back here. Um, I'll still get to Astrid. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, that's one of the moves. Alright, everything is still good. Zero damage. Like, it's just like, what is this? Fucking crossbow bolt sticking out of his chest. This is a very non-moving boss. And it looks like his little guys are non-moving too. I'm worried that they're going to be proximity movers. Like I'm going to get all the way over there and then all of a sudden they're going to be like, Oh hey, let's move. Wow, Rayson is fucking really fat. Uh, it was really far. What I'm going to do is get all my units like halfway up there and then like, like attack with Rayson. I'm not worried about the boss moving. The boss seems to be quite dedicated to his non-moving. I'm worried about um, the two guys next to him. Worried that they're going to start becoming movers. So I want to kill them. Um, who was it who needed the heal? Doesn't look really like. Like, there are a lot of characters who I kind of want to. Oh, it's Janath. When's he going to beast out? Not for a while. Why'd I put him there? What does that do? I think there's a Galder in the sequel that, like, increases the Lagoos bar. There's, like, more Galders in the sequel. So what is this thing? What? Oh, wait, hold on. I understand. So it's a Kanto. It's an inherent... Oh, not Kanto. Kanto's this. What is that skill called? It's the thing where you can move again. It's the thing that knights have. That's really useful. It would actually be fine on him. In fact, it would be really good on him. It would allow me to swoop in, heal, and then swoop out. It appears that this is attacking my worst stat, and it appears that this guy actually could have fucked me. He would need to hit both of his hits, and one of them would need to be a crit. The fact that he's doubling me is uncomfortable. But Oscar. Oscar would probably fuck him up. That crit chance. Very uncomfortable. So, if it's far away, does it count as... It seems to be doing the same damage. What's my plan for this boss? Why does this always happen? I'm tempted to just move my units up. 
I'm gonna soak up that guy's arrows. That's fine. Unfortunately, I'm, I, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do this quickly. Because I need Janaf to be able to go up there and kill that guy. No one else can climb this, so I like didn't bring any of my flying units along. I'm pretty sure no one can climb cliffs. Yeah, this fighter stopped by cliffs, and so am I. Fighters are such cool units. Why do they give them out so sparingly? I haven't had any of the promotions I expected to get. Makarov's one attack from promotion. Where are we at? Left two. Huh. Alright, that guy's no one on threat. Um, let's just keep things nice and, um, well armored. If I just get a nice little line of units, it's going to be very difficult for them to reach. I'll be able to approach with everyone else. Who is this? Is it you? Keep an eye on the boss. I'm perhaps more worried than I need to be. The boss just suddenly moves and fuck. It appears that he's not going to. Might as well get close. He's gonna transform next turn. Alright, I'm now fully confident those guys aren't going to move. Just get you out of the way. It was actually wiser to attack the other guy first, because he did more damage. Genef is cool. Um, can you get a bulk up there? Oh shit, he just gets fucked. But yeah. Still fucked. Uh, he's a javelin just to be weak. I don't really need the javelin anymore now that I've got a bow. The javelin does have a little niche. You can attack with the javelin. That's 7% crit. I don't have an item that like prevents me from getting crit. That would just be cool. That's not where I want to stand. I don't know who should do this. It's just ugly. I don't have a good unit for taking that guy on. I can kill this guy and then move again. If I stand next to him, he might ditch the Sonic Sword in favor of his other sword. Boss moves, I'm fucked. That magic actually matters, because that affects how much people heal when next to him. His skill and speed matter for dodging. His luck matters for dodging. No, his speed matters for hit. I don't think speed... No, speed must matter for dodging. I don't remember. His resistance makes him the best special tank in the game. This defense is kind of crap. I mean, I might as well just go in now. Probably put my units into harm's way. Steal, huh? 
get those kills. These two Cavaliers should put me into 100. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm dumb. Hello, dum-dums. I'm gonna spend a lot of time evaluating the best way to attack this guy. I need to figure out if he's attacking my resistance or my defense. And then I can formulate a strategy. Isn't it? 15. Defense 15. Attack 22. He should be doing 7 damage. But he's not, he's doing 14. 22. Minus 8. He does attack. Uh, I need to ward, and I've only got one, so I need to ward the right guy. Alright, guys, I. Yeah, that's far more manageable, isn't it? I could even Aether to kill him. Actually. Bulk level up to death, bastard. Cool. That went well. Hmm. He didn't get strength. His strength growth is through the roof. It's 55, I think. Percentage. get 24. He needs four crits in a row in order to kill me. This guy must be um, Stefan's son. What if he was? That'd be really funny. I don't know his relationship to Stefan. I'm going to look it up right now. He must have a quote with Stefan. He's the same kind of unit. He looks similar. They must have something to say. Hold on a second. Um, what's the name of this mission? Hold on, I've got to like let him hit me. Got to hit him. He missed. Got one missed one. Mission is called Entrusted. In a special battle conversation with Ike, we learn he was taught to use a sword by his father. He wields a sonic sword. He bears a striking resemblance to Stefan. even has a special battle conversation with him. He also has a conversation with Zahark, the other male swordmaster. Versus Ike. Your fighting style is unique. It is rough and awkward, yet terribly strong. Who is your teacher? My father. We just read that. Versus Zahark. Hamasa. You are a strong swordsman. Or you are a swordsman as well, and it appears quite skilled. May I ask you for a duel? Zahark. I dislike contests with strangers, but I don't think I can refuse. Can I? Hamasa. Kia. Yeah, I just turned off the screen. Just right now. Just did it. Hamasa, it seems you're quite the fencer. Shall I teach you something? Stefan, sheave your blade. Th that's all the skill you possess. You're not ready to challenge me. Hamasa, what have it you? How odd. How odd. That's really weird. Anyway, where was I? Genaf is just fine. Um, I still have... If he crits me, I'm dead. So what I'm going to do, even though it seems insane, is I'm going to move in with Mist and heal him. I can just push Mist out of the way. And then I'm going to attack with Ike, and if Ike fails to get the kill, uh, Makalov's probably going to swoop in and level up. Or not, because I have a good, de decent chance of missing. And then if I miss, it's, I'm fucked. It is fucked the clock for me. Look, someone gets this kill, okay? I don't care who. I'm 
Wait, what? Oh, he's got the silver sword on. Curious. I could kill him with anyone then. He changed his gear, I didn't notice. So now it's just raw defense that matters. This is the sonic sword attacks resistance, but this his silver sword attacks defense. Which is why he's doing two more damage. I thought that just it was the weakening of the the board staff. Because I think it gets weaker every turn. Yeah, I could fuck him up now. Oscar doesn't even risk dying. I really want uh, Makalov to get the kill, though. I want Astrid to get the kill. She'll almost level up. Oh, Ike kills him. Damn it. Astrid. Hit this shit. Oh, shit. If she kills him, I think she'll promote. That was fine. That was just okay. I've got so many units who can pick up this kill. If I miss all of them, that would be like the worst thing ever. Alright, cool. I hit both of those. Those are 65, so it's unlikely. He's promoted level 8, or like level 11 or something. And I get double experience. Yeah, class change! This bitch is amazing when she promotes. She ends up being quite a tank at the end game, in addition to having insane speed and decent strength and like fucking half a good skill. I just paladins are really good in this game. Yeah, three defense, two resistance. That helps a lot. Um, axes, axes, axes. That went pretty well. There's a lot of important stuff that happens at the end of this mission. It's gold. It's the spoils of war, so naturally it's ours. It has to be Thorn to deliver that line. I'd like to borrow 50,000. Private matter. So you get a fair amount, but part of it gets um, goes towards story. Hulk. There isn't one. There's an airport, never was. Something I must tell you, however, it could not be written down is too great a secret for that. Your father told me to wait until I thought you were mature enough to hear it, my, hear it and then tell you myself. The gold, that was my idea. I thought it'd be a good way to test how resourceful and responsible you are. Volk is an interesting character. I spent a long time as Grail's hired shadow. A long time. I remained hidden from sight in case the day ever arrived that I needed to fill, fulfill my contract. All that time for one job. If Grail was ever to go berserk, I was to stop him. I was to take his life. Actually, there was one other thing. If Grail was ever slain by his pursuers, I was to watch over his son and tell him Grail's secret at an appropriate time. Learns medallion. Medallion your sister carries. He knows what it is. He is one of very few characters who knows what Loran's medallion is. Gerald told me it was an object of great peril, but nothing more. I did some investigating on my own, though. Loran was one of the Herring clan, an ancestor of our Prince Raisin, who carried it with him. A bronze medallion. A band of her heroes defeated an evil god and imprisoned it therein. 
Laren's medallion contains an evil god. The men who hunted your father were actually seeking the medallion. She can carry it safely. She's the only one who can. If you want proof, think back. Have you ever once touched it? My father scolded me harshly. The balance within your sister is really strong. Your mother was the same way. They could both bear it. It's like a strong poison. It takes the worst aspects of a person and magnifies them a thousandfold. Grail touched it only once and it drove him to complete madness. Bjork and Lagoos are made of two forces, balance and chaos. Father was one of the pre preeminent swordsmen of his generation. Twenty soldiers had come for him, twenty highly trained killers. Your father barely broke a sweat, cutting them down. They began attacking his neighbors, those who had taken him in, concealed his identity, called him a friend. He slew them one by one until your mother rushed in, thinking only to save her husband from himself. It was over in an instant. Your mother grabbed the medallion from his hand and stepped away from him. Then she smiled as he pulled the sword from her breast and forgave him as her life's blood spilled into the street. Damn, Ike. The medallion was too great for any man. He said he needed someone like me. Closed mouth, skilled, and most importantly willing to do any sort of work. He was one of the four riders. Gawain is one of the four riders. Gawain is the original name of Grail. To stop anything, to keep anything from happening again, he crippled himself. He slashed the tendons in his sword hand so that he could not wield a sword again. So Volk suddenly became able to take Grail on, I guess, once he, once Grail. Grail had a S rank in swords, I think, and an A rank in axes. Grail is one of the best sword users in this universe. He was still far stronger than most men. That is why Grail turns down the sword during the Black Knight fight. It's because he can't wield a sword. Swords are like one handed things, and he can't use that hand very well. But the axe he used was two hands, and he could control it. Very interesting. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is actually perfect. He's hiring me to potentially kill him, which is kind of funny. Very interesting thing is happening right now. What I'm actually doing is hiring him onto my team. If you turn him down, I don't know if you get the money. I think you do. So you get to choose between 50,000 or a promoted Volk. I no longer need to conceal my true identity. He's one of two units with a storyline promotion in this game. He's also one of two units who changes appearance once he promotes. I mean, everyone changes appearance in battle. He changes appearance in, uh, like Sprite. There it is. Thief promotes to Assassin. What's brilliant about that is the only games, um, Sacred Stones and Fire Emblem 7, were the only games in which Thieves could promote before, and they promoted into Assassin. And that was just like a new thing, like Thieves could never promote before that. And this is a game where you have a Thief, and he's actually an Assassin in secret. So, like, the promotion of Thief to Assassin actually makes a ton of sense. But it's, like, consistent with the previous, like, lore of the other games. Unfortunately, Soth is not a secretly an assassin. He never promotes. No matter how dirty. Assassin Volk is pretty good. In fact, he's an amazing character, but unfortunately, he does not. Um, daggers are shit.
Ike's father killed his mother when Ike was like four. Six or four, somewhere around there. Ike's pretty hardcore. Defending Talrega. Is this the one with the mountains? I think it is. This is the one where I recruit Khalil. Soren's so dutiful. I wonder if Storm will start being polite. Here I am. Oh, it's this mission, of course. Jill is of Benyon descendants. Descent. I did not know that. I forgot about that. This is Shiaram. This is Jill's daddy. Shiaram Fizzard. Jill talks a lot about impressing your father. I think this is still the mission where Khalil joins. Shiram is forced to do something evil. Folk. He was MVP. I got a lot of bonus experience. Khalil? Yeah, here we go. Hey, yoo-hoo! My name is Khalil and I am a first-class mage. Don't believe her, she picked knives. Anyone who picks knives is a dumbass. Knives are shit. It is literally dumb to pick knives. A mage, huh? <laughs> Ike says, you can never have too many mages lying around. There's five mages in the game. My last playthrough this game, I used all five. It was actually a really fun playthrough. Quite skilled with a knife as well. Staves are so much more useful than knives, especially in this game. Glale's strength is pretty bad, knives are pretty weak. The only thing it allows her to do is kill uh, priests. And like, anyone can kill a priest. It's literally the only thing she gets from having a knife. Mages really suck at killing priests and, and like knives are strong enough. I like my feast to be based on performance. Hell yeah. Perhaps I should speak to the general. I am the general. <laughs> if I can help, I will. Rayson's super loyal to Ike. I kind of like that. Rayson seems like he'd be like super uptight and like fucking antagonistic, but actually he's very forgiving. Maybe not very forgiving. He changed his ways quite easily. This guy is the guy who hated Laguz, but he's still a heron. He still has nothing but love in his heart, he just pretends to be a hard ass because um he hangs out with uh Tiburon and Tiburon's a hard ass. That's like a huge character point of Rayson, he like acts like Tiburon. We can read the thoughts of others. That's a plot point in the sequel.
Parents can read minds. Parents always pale. I mean, fucking racing. That's a pointless conversation, you can just like bring him along anyway. Oh, here we go. Astrid hits on all the guys in your party. Astrid's so cute, she gets completely the wrong idea of this guy. <laughs> she gets like completely the wrong idea. Astrid was put into an arranged marriage that she desperately didn't want to do. You can marry her up with a bunch of different units. Maybe not a bunch. But I think both Gatry and um, Makalov can hit on her. Mist has already got her A support. Oscar and Kieran, not yet. All same old, same old. Ike and Titania is probably interesting. Oh yeah, racing and Ike. That's gotta be an interesting one. I'm actually really curious on how that plays out. I can race her in a really neat pair. Um, everyone's doing alright. Alright, we gotta sort out Janaf's full guard. Let's give that back to... Actually, Jill would be a good user of it. No, I'd rather have um, Marsha have it. What's Marsha doing with that hand, man? That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, wait, hold on. Still plenty to do here. Buy an iron sword. That'd be helpful. Give that night ring to Ike. I decided Ike would be the most useful. The ability to move and, like, attack him and move would be super nice for Ike. It'll enable him to take on bosses easier. Guaranteed that I'm only attacking. I didn't even, like, steal anything. I just got those from drops. Fucking Daphne. I'm so pissed about that. I really want to use her. Thing. Yay, Paladin. Oh yeah, I should do some looking at Volk. Resistance is lagging quite a lot. Fuck. 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 Swords and axes. That's Kieran. Swords and lances. That's unique. Um, lances will be fine for him, I think. Swords and bows is... Uh, what's her face? Astrid? No, she's axes and bows. No one's swords and bows. That would actually be a pretty cool pair. Let me give him lances, though. Just to be different. I don't have that many lance users. Axes are arguably the best thing for him. But, you know. Um, I need to get, I need to get a bunch of units to level, to max level. This is like mission 20, isn't it? Yeah. I need to get Rolf to promote this mission, non-negotiable. And also Boyd, but Boyd's like almost promoted, so it'll be alright. But Rolf needs to promote. I could just give him a bunch of bonus EXP, I've got a lot. He needs to get three level ups. I'm going to give him one right now. I can get all three in battle. There's like a bunch of wyverns this mission, I'll be fine. Just make sure Rolf gets all the kills. I don't think he actually needs to be promoted. I think that just Boyd need, and, and Oscar need to be promoted, which they aren't yet, but... Just need to be really careful about those guys. Um, let's give him a... a oh yeah, but here's Volk. So let's just take a look at him. Uh, one, he has a new face. He looks pretty cool in my opinion. 
He doesn't have any sort of inherent skills or anything, unfortunately. He maintains the ability to steal. Assassin's lost that ability in the other previous games. Um, his new skill is Lethality, which is actually pretty cool. It's the Occult Scroll skill. In certain instances, grants this unit ability to kill certain foes with one blow. It says certain foes, but I don't think it's actually certain foes. I think it's actually everyone. Um, including bosses. When he gets a crit, there is a one-half chance that the crit will be a instant kill, regardless of defense. Um, so like if he has a 10% chance of crit, it's a 5% chance of a triple damage crit, and a 5% chance of an instant kill. And that works on all enemies, including bosses. I think the only people it doesn't work on are like, like, uh, are, uh, the units with, like, the special armor. Like, uh, the final boss of the game, and the Black Knight. The ones who can only be hurt by legendary weapons. Um... But he can't even participate in the fight with the Black Knight. But I don't think he can use this to one-shot the last boss. But it works on... I think it works on bosses. Which is pretty cool, but, um, actually... Um... There's only three daggers in the game. It's the knife, the dagger, and the stiletto. The knife has 5% crit, and the stiletto, I think, has, like, 20% crit. And the dagger has zero. So even though his skill is, like, pretty good, so he gets a decent crit rate, like, he's got crit 16, okay? Like, you've got to subtract the enemy's luck, which is going to be, like, 10. He's going to end up having, like, a 6 crit chance. With the knife, with the one that has 5 crit. So I've got, like, a 3% chance of instant killing. That's not even that high. It would be a really useful skill, but you can't give him a killing edge or anything like that, because fucking he can only use knives kind of a pain. It would be, he would actually be a super interesting class. He's still pretty good though. His stats are amazing, but um, you know. His defenses aren't that good, and knives themselves are really shitty. I think the stiletto is only 8, and there's only like a couple stilettos in the game, so you're mostly confined to knives and daggers, which means no ranged weapons, really weak basic weapons. Um, you've got to factor that into his, his cap, which I think is not that high. He doesn't have like a 30 cap or anything like that. I think it's like a 25, or not even. I think it's a 23. It's like really low. He has a really easy time capping it because his strength growth is so high. So in the end, Volk just isn't very strong. Even though his like he he's good to use early on because he just like does so much damage because his um his strength is so high. But he just his his greatness is limited by the game. Um, sometimes I give Sword and Shade. I don't have the scroll for Shade. Shade is like super good on him. Just red eyes. Nearly yeah, everyone has like the same eye color as their hair color. It's kind of weird, I never noticed that. Blue and blue. Those ones are unique. Man, this kid, what am I going to do with him? I guess he's going to be my primary thief from now on, because I don't care about Bulk anymore. I will them up for no particular reason. Oh yeah, hold on. Knock it off. Let's sell. That sword. And let's buy an Iron Lance. Gotta level up my uh, skill. I'd actually like to get rid of that other sword. He's running a little low on swords. I can look this up relatively easily by doing sell items and looking at swords. No one. Everyone's swords are A-OK. -okay. I give Ike another sword. He likes swords. Let's put this away. He's not even using it. And let's give him Makalov's sword. And let's give Makalov another lance. Two lances equals double the growth. Makalov is better with lances than swords. He's already got all the sword points I need. B rank with swords is quite good enough. Boy needs to promote, and um, Rolf needs to promote. Alright, this mission isn't super long. Just on the medallion. That's probably what Alinsi is thinking right now. This guy looks evil because of his red armor.
But actually, he's just Benyon. Hawk with the eyes of a hawk. I don't believe that's not a racial ability. This is the battle you are not supposed to bring Jill for because she will actually defect. Jill will join the enemy team. But I've heard, I've never actually done it, that Jill, if you get any support with uh, uh, Mist and maybe, I think Leth too, I don't know. I don't even know if you can have a, a support with Leth in time. Um, that they'll actually affect that. So I'm actually really curious to see it. <laughs> kind of exciting. So we're going to bring Jill along. Uh, Volk is gone, that's fine. Um, who am I killing? Eliana will actually be quite useful. I can live without racing. I need these guys for supports. Miss is essential. Uh, I guess this is fine. Tana hasn't fucking, or not, Marsha hasn't been part of my team in a while. Which is upsetting. I want to get her back on. Like this team, plus uh, Raisin, plus uh, Mar Marsha, it's like my ideal team. Maybe not my ideal team overall, but it's my ideal team for this playthrough. Alright, let's see what we got here. 